Ladies and gentlemen, today we speak a little bit about dollars and euros. When in 1945 the USA were winner of Second World War, a dollar was worth over four Swiss francs. Then came one war after the other against communism, and the dollar was going down and down. Above all, after the invented justification of bar and Vignon, a so-called incident. But one has to consider that this communism was financed by the USA themselves in 1917 and again after 1945. In the 1970s, the dollar was 1.80 Swiss francs. Yet. And then, after the fraud of 11th of September 2001, with the fake films, the so-called war against terrorism began, and the dollar was going down on the dawn, once again after the so-called incidents. That simply means USA had a victory in the Second World War, but after 1945, USA principally only lost their wars, also because they were not at all attacked and therefore the resistance was very high. Well, but US mentality is very aggressive and always wants a frontier. Without frontier and without fight, the politicians of USA principally don't feel well. And therefore, the people there are making wars and wars again, again and again, without managing their reserves. That means that USA will be going on with wars until the USA will end. And this, what is happening in 2011 now, is only a stop over. The government states that the deaths are too high and the Iraq war was ended officially but bombs are going on, falling and falling and resistance also is going on and on. Therefore, the forecast for the USA is negative when the mentality will not change. I don't see any great demonstration for peace. I don't see any big appeal for an end of the wars and therefore something other will end. The dollar. And now, let's speak about euros. Euro is an invention of culture orientated governments in Europe with the idea that the European Union should be found having the same currency. This so-called European Union, also called EU, is, as they had in project, should work with more efficiency as the Europe of before with the European Economic Community EDC. Because frontiers and currency differences should be eliminated. In this way, this holds the cultural orientated government circles in Europe and they celebrated their festivals with Ninth Symphony of Beethoven. In the Treaty of EU, limits were put war for the members. How high could be the deficit? For states without deficit was not introduced any reward, and this already is basic fault for the EU system. Well, that was another basic fault of the EU system, because the different mentalities were not considered. All should have the same force, and all should have the same conditions, and for all should be hardly no control. And by this, a certain inefficiency was installed in the EU countries. And within 10 years, we have now some bankrupt countries already. These countries are Greece, Ireland, Portugal, Spain, and probably also Italy. The countries of Mediterranean are the so-called club met, with the tourist mentality thinking that the money is coming from alone into the country. Their big part of the mentality of the government consists 
in waiting that the work is organizing by itself. Because the tourists from Northern and Central Europe are coming from alone. And depending on the economic situation, they could manipulate their currency, provocating more tourism, presenting themselves with cheap prices, and for having always work. The governments of the Mediterranean also hardly know what is export because the tourists are coming themselves, purchasing the products. Therefore, the people also hardly know any foreign language because the tourists are the persons learning the local language too. In Ireland, there was another scenario. There was a wave with empty hopes of investors which provoked a high debt of the banks. They were given credits with the principle of hope indicating that Ireland would be an attractive location between Central Europe and the USA. And this was the argument there was never more. By this the credit and housing bubble was coming up and there was hardly any control. Well, these Mediterranean countries should have big problems with Euros, yet first the Euro currency was not at all wanted by the majority because the majority of the European population principally did never want this Euro. But Euro was forcibly introduced to the populations in Mid-Europe and above all in South Europe. All costed or more with Europe and governments of the Mediterranean states lost their currencies and lost the main manipulation for tourism and could not adapt their currencies to their needs anymore. But the EU was not approved organization. There were subsidies given. Mafia could install in Brussels and could compart Germany. And the subsidies were systematically abused and so on and so on. And this pleased to the governments of Southern Europe because this corresponded to the mentality of frauds to tourists. Well, control hardly existed. And by these methods, the Mediterranean states were coming into a downward spiral with the Euro. They lost the flexibility. Fraud was coming up more and more. For example, there were houses sold in Spain without houses, etc. And all in all, the responsibility was going down. And there was hardly any control then and until today. Instead of changing the mentality in Southern Europe to a productive inventor's mentality like in Central Europe, the whole enterprise was going into the other direction. The feeling for responsibility was going down. All in all, in the Mediterranean states, is dominating principally a mentality not taking Brussels too earnest. And the system was going on like this until came the economic, economic crisis of 2009 and the rating agencies. Well, the population of Southern Europe themselves principally never wanted this euro, and at the end stays the popular approach that Central Europe would want to destruct Southern Europe with a euro. Well, precisely this was done by Central Europe. The culture oriented governments of Central Europe never wanted to notice that the mentality in Southern Europe is another one than in Central Europe. Reading, investigating, and inventing simply has no tradition in Southern Europe. The South European, the Southern European governments were not told that they should change their mentality either, because the Central European governments always refused to believe that there would exist a mentality problem. Yes, there was a blind leading another blind. And now, after ten years with Euros, we have the result. One Mediterranean country after another is bankrupt, of or hardly. The Europe profits in Brussels, above all, Mr. Minister of Finance Schäuble of Germany, want even to save the bankrupt Mediterranean countries. Well, such a saving is not possible, unfortunately, not only because you cannot go on with the car after a hard accident, 
but because the mentalities in the Mediterranean Ibrium have not changed, or they are even more against you. As to this, with cost-cutting programs dictated from Brussels, respectively from Germany, Europe is not at all more attractive. Because of this, the rebellions will be more yet, and at the end, all Northern and Central Europe will lose completely their money in Southern Europe, only because a cultural fantasy and the big map of the Europe should be preserved. That means that Europe will break up Italy by Euro at the end. The reason for all this is very simple. With Euro and EU, there grew together something what not should be together. The North and Central Europeans are the readers, investigators and inventors. But in Southern Europe is the touristic center of the continent with Mafia inclusive, and this cannot go together. Swiss policy realized well that these mentalities would not work together, because one part of Switzerland also is in Southern Europe. Therefore, Switzerland never wanted to be a member of the EU, and is only affected indirectly now by the crisis of the Mediterranean states of today by the high-rated Swiss rank. Well, we come to the following conclusions. The dollar will go down, falling, all and all, because of the wars of the USA, which will never stop until the USA will be bankrupt. The mentalities in Europe will not change, but there is only one solution. The Mediterranean states should get their independence again as fast as possible, being tourism destinations as they were before. And the governments of Southern Europe should limit themselves on their territory and get a house ban in Brussels. And by this, the responsibility for the own country will rise and the mafia will be limited in the Mediterranean countries. But when the governments of Northern and Central Europe will not stop their dreams of a big empire and will be going on with their projects saving trash states, so Europe will end in a chaos in two years, eventually with the breakdown of the whole banking system, the insurance system, and with the communication systems by bankrupts and strikes. It would be the task of the EU dreamers to organize at last popular vote, asking what the populations want. The popular vote about the desires in Europe was not out until today, because the reality should be concealed. The EU with the Mediterranean states is not needed. As to this, it makes no sense for China is purchasing Europe, because that will only make the situation more complicated. But it can be awaited that these European dreamers are staying on the scene, and by this the EU will end by itself when the Euro is nothing worth anymore. And I give a final piece of advice for savers for the next 20 years. In this situation of breaking down empires of USA and EU, the safe locations for fortunes are all states which are not members of the EU and USA, and which are not affected by basic products. With this, the risk always has to be parted and distributed, and foreign languages and some trips are a must. Thank you for your attention.